sa chairman, pakita niyo yung ano, yung nirecognize nilang mga, sa ka naman nakakita, Mr. Chairman? 60 years old. 60 years old. Ha? Huh? Irerecognize mo. Late registration, 60 years old. 50 years old. 49 years old. Recognize. At ang sinasabi, Chinese father or mother pa, or ang mother ay Chinese, tapos Pilipina ang ano, ang mother o kaya father. And then, kukuha ng birth certificate na late registration, makikita nyo yan. Yung mga nandyan, 60, 50, 49. Saying that all these Chinese ha, became Pilipino. Kaya dumadami ang mga Chinese sa atin because of you. Anyway, uh, Pibidek, uh, pasensya na po kayo, Pibidek. Ano? Uh, this is all about you. This time, it's all about you. Uh, Pibidek, kayo po ay, uh, noong 2021, sino po ang administrator ng Pibidek? At attorney Labinia. Pompey? Hindi po attorney. Pompey Labinia lang. Pompey Labinia. You were the, uh, the uh, administrator during that time. 2021, um, up to up to November 12, 2021. And during that time, you remember that um, uh, a certain attorney, Les Guse, of the Legal Service Division, and a certain uh, Colonel Pete the Kipil have uh, notified the Office of the Administrator of a certain email coming from Director Alik Pala that indeed there was an incident regarding the docking of a vessel from Vietnam at Pilsanji port. Do That's you remember this incident? That's correct, Your Honor. And uh, on January 30, the Security Service Division received tip-offs on alleged rice and drug smuggling going on at the Pilsanja port. Doon kay Mr. Tony Ong. Is this correct? That's right, Your Honor. The, the, the text message was sent to me and I alerted uh, uh, the security division. And a vessel from Vietnam dock at the Pilsanjia port was subjected to heightened alert as there was a need for Pilbidek management to be on guard against a repeat of the Verde Soko incident where Pilbidek employees and the former administrator were subjected to press and congressional inquiries. Is this correct? That's right. We were. I was very worried of something like that happening again so uh, we acted on the intel that came to my cell phone that there might be smuggled rice and there was even I think somebody told me verbally possibly illegal drugs and that uh, voyage of the vessel MB being poke 168 carried loads of 2,900 metric tons of rice am I correct I cannot remember the exact amount, but it should be in the documents, Your Honor. And on January 31, 2021, you personally went to the port in order to check. That's right, Your Honor. If there was indeed an alleged rice and drug smuggling. That's correct. And the cargo was held there as need to be checked by Pilsanjia Port. Dahil hindi siya pwedeng magpasok ng rice because... It has no permit to operate as a commercial port. Tama? Um, opo, because it, they actually had a, there was already a board resolution approving the, its operation as a commercial port that was, um, yes. that was approved the previous term. But then they had not complied with all the conditions, including public hearing, um, Publication of tariffs, uh, consultation with the other op port operators. We have 13 uh, ports in Fibidec, Your Honor. So in the other words, uh, Mr. Pompey uh, Labinia, you were saying that there was a uh, certificate of board resolution number 2841, series of 2020, which was approved by the former administrator. And who is the former administrator? By the, by the board, Your Honor, but including by the, the former ad administrator. The, the administrator that, cannot uh, approve it by himself. And that internal document was not meant for public consumption. That's correct, Your Honor. 
So, attorney. Attorney Quijano. So, why was there a resolution granting a um, granting Sanjia a permit to operate commercially? Your Honor, um, in the beginning as they built the plant, Your Honor, the purpose is to uh, manufacture steel bars out from scrap and uh, steel materials which are uh, both uh, domestically available and from abroad. And therefore, Your Honor, the subsequent uh, request of Sanja was for the issuance of uh, a permit for a port. Uh, the request was submitted to the board, Your Honor, for its approval. Subsequently, Your Honor, the board of FIBIDEC approved the request for the building direction of a port, Your Honor. Yes. Why do you have to approve a uh, board resolution converting that port into a commercial port without first securing? No, there is a, no... You, no, wait, wait, wait. I still uh, have the floor. While you haven't secured yet a uh, permit coming from the DNR, who issued an ECC? Your Honor, uh, the permit, uh, if you will notice... The uh, subjects itself to all the government requirements, including public hearing, Your Honor. Attorney Quiano, oh. ang sinasabi ko po, bakit hindi muna kumuha sa DNR ng ECC dahil yung ECC nakasabi doon, hindi siya for commercial port. Di ba? Kung, kung hindi pa siya commercial port, walang, walang karapatan ang board ninyo, including you, to approve such resolution Converting that to a commercial port. Your Honor, and dami po natin dapat kuni mo ng mga dokumento coming from the national agency before a resolution can be secured from PBDEC. Wala pong converting, Your Honor. Huh? The, the request for a port was uh, was hindi po converting to a commercial port. Ang request po ng Sanja was for a port. Yes. So, binigyan po ng uh, board ng uh, approval for a port. Yung issue ng conversion, Your Honor, like what was pointed out by uh, uh, Administrator Lavinia, was subsequent because uh, when the port was finished, it was already during the watch of uh, uh, Administrator Lavinia, Your Honor. Yes. I was, my, my term was July 2017, to September 2020, Your Honor. So, for your information, ano, Attorney Kiana, no, ito ang nilalaman ng inyong resolution. Resolve to grant the intent of Pilsanjia Port to engage in commercial operation to public, subject to public hearing on cons or consultation. Yes, Your Honor. So, since walang public hearing or consultation, so meaning, hindi mo siya makoconvert into commercial port. Am yes. I correct? I agree, Your Honor. Yes. Bakit nakapasok yung mga rice? And I don't know if there is drug inside. Your Honor, that was not during my watch anymore, Your Honor. Sino to? Mr. Pompey Labinia, bakit? W bakit po nakapasok? Yes. Dahil hindi pa naman siya pwede mag-function as commercial port. But you allow to enter all those 2,900 metric tons of, of, metric tons of rice. Because it's not commercially operated yet. That's Dahil right. Ang sinabi nyo dito, unless a public hearing or consent or consultation must be subjected first. That's right, Your Honor. They, That's have why... Conduct, have you conducted a public hearing? At the time, there was no public hearing. That's why yes. we intercepted uh, the boat. Because there, there was even no permission for the boat to land. Yeah, but, but would you allow the enter of the, uh, the 2,900 metric tons? Eventually, ah. you have decided to release all those 2,900. And I will, tell you I will tell you why. I will tell you why. Andito, nakalagay. At 1.11 p.m. of February 2021, Attorney Gusay informed the administrator that she has verified with BOC collector John Simon by phone call that the documents of the importation are in order and that BOC 
has also verified with regional director of NICA that there is no alert order for the importation. Suddenly, nagkaroon na ng clearance. A meeting was requested by Collector John Simon with the PBDEC representative in the afternoon. And Attorney Gusay was allowed by the administrator to attend the meeting. A report on what transpired during the meeting was submitted by Attorney Gusay on February 2021. During the meeting, Attorney Noe Espenillo Jr. disclosed that PBDEC 1A will be in trouble if the cargo was not released immediately. Sino? Sino ang sinasabi ni Noe L. Espenillo Jr., Attorney, na kapag hindi na-release ang cargo, PBDEC will be in trouble. Tama po. Uh, we were being threatened by the Bureau of Customs that if we did not release the um, cargo, I would actually be liable for cases. Sino, si, sino sa Bureau of Customs ang nagsabi na you will be in trouble pag hindi na-release ang mga bigas na hindi pa naman siya commercial port? Sino? I think it's in the report, Your Honor. What's the name? Who did it? You tell me. I I'm think going it's... To the uh, I, I don't have copy of the report, but I think it's the lawyer of the shipper and then Manuel, was it Manuel, the BIR, uh, the customs direct, uh, the customs person in charge in Fibidec at the time. Who's the... And in fact, Your Honor, Commissioner I... Commissioner Guerrero? No, si Commissioner Guerrero, nag-investiga si Secretary Dominguez after. Because they were actually thinking that I was holding the... The view of the customs and the view of the Department of Finance that I was holding the cargo illegally. Okay, Mr. Chairman, I know that this uh, will take so long. No, This will take so long. We are not done yet. It's already 11.30 and I have a, an issue first with the immigration. But, Labinia, uh, Attorney Labinia, Pompey, Pompey Labinia, yes, po. we will be inviting you over again in the next hearing. Opo. We have to settle this issue and we Opo. will be inviting those Bureau of Customs who have signed the release of this illegal smuggling of price sa Sanjia. Not yet a commercial port, pero ni-release. And even yung, uh, yung initial indication that there are illegal drugs shipment inside was also cleared by NICA. Am I correct? Yes. After the door, I had the canine dog sniff all of the cargo, Your Honor. Um, and then the report that we got had come from Nika. That, that was what they said. But then Nika denied uh, that there was such an intel report, Your Honor. But of course, I, don't, I cannot verify 100% that the report actually came from Nika. I was told that the report came from Nika. Okay, thank you so much. In the Mindanao Container Terminal, you know that Mindanao uh, Container Terminal? Yes, Your Honor. Yung 48 hectares under the PB deck, port natin? Yes, Your Honor. Which is being handled by the ICSDI? Yes, Your Honor. And uh, during that time, uh, there is um, a, um, an, a designated, uh, designated examination area. Di ba meron tayong designated, uh, tinatawag natin DEA? Opo. Meron tayong DEA, designated examination area. Opo. During your time, nasaan ang designated examination area? Yung x-ray natin na supposedly, di ba? Yun ang nag-check ng mga pumapasok nating cargo. Saan siya nakapwesto? Sa loob ng uh, Mindanao Container Terminal o outside? Nakalagay doon sa PBDEG. If I remember correctly, Your Honor, nasa labas. Yes. Why? Why did you allow this? I... Who, who contracted the contract with Golden Sun and the PBDEG? For a 30 years, up to 2030, the, uh, contract, the contract together with the Golden Sun, yung X-ray natin wala sa loob, naandun sa labas. Paano natin matsitsik ang lahat na pumapasok na kagameto kung nasa labas siya? Tama po yun. Existing na po yun when I came in, so I don't know who contracted it. Why you did not it? check it and try to, uh, to uh, cancel that contract? Wala na tayong matsitsik, Mr. Chairman. Lahat ng uh, papasok doon, doon dinadala sa PBDEC, doon ini X-ray. Sige, Mr. Quijano. Yeah, Your Honor. During my watch, Your Honor, I called the attention of uh, Mindanao... Uh, Container Terminal? No, no, the, the, the inspection unit. 
for x-ray. In fact, Your Honor, I brought one of the x-ray units inside. However, you know, Your Honor, because of that, I got the heat and uh, the people operating the x-ray got so angry. Eventually, Your Honor, uh, customs insisted. And who owns the Golden Sun that operate as a service provider for that x-ray? I cannot... Uh, what is the name? Kilala mo to. You tell us. I cannot with certainty say that, Your Honor, because I was not a contracting party of Gold Golden Sun. The Golden Sun contract was entered into before my watch, Your Honor. Mr. Pompey, who owns the Golden Sun? I do not know, Your Honor, but the documents should be in Fibidec. Fibidec, kayo pareho eh. But hindi nyo alam. Is it Dennis Oy? Yes or no? Ano po? Dennis Uy. I don't recognize that name, Your Honor. Sa Golden Sun. Yes or no? Hindi. I don't recognize the name. I don't know. Hindi mo kilala ni Dennis Uy? Hindi ko po kilala. Ikaw, Mr. Kilano, hindi nyo kilala. I, have, I, haven't, I haven't read the contents of the contract, Your Honor. And the contract states up to 2030. It was the previous administration, Your Honor. And the X-ray, it's outside the terminal. Unfortunately, Your Honor, despite my protestation, it was brought out by the customs. At dito papasok ang lahat ng hindi mo dumadaan sa X-ray. Mr. Chairman, all the cargos na nanggagaling po sa Mindanao Container Terminal, dumadaan sa kanilang X-ray doon sa labas ng terminal. Saka naman nakakita ng ganitong klase ng mga... Correct. Nakalabas, nakalabas na yung cargo bago may dadaan sa X-ray. And they have contract until 2030. Mr. Chairman, we need to investigate this further. Punta po tayo sa immigration. Immigration. Do sa Miss Alice Go, remember that uh, we have talked about the uh, yung mga nahuli ng na mga 323 na mga Chinese sa uh, Baofu. And uh, remember that uh, uh, sabi ko sa iyo na kung may kilala ka sa immigration and you attended a Christmas party kay uh, uh, Attorney Carlos uh, Kapulong. Uh, yes, for your honor. And uh, you told me na kilala mo siya at ikaw yung guest speaker sa Christmas party. Uh, your honor, I was invited. Hindi naman po talagang guest speaker po. Pero you are special kasi nga ako hindi nga ako naiimbita doon. Ikaw naiimbita. Uh, sorry ako. Okay. Mr. Uh, Attorney Carlos Kapulong, uh, gano'n mo kakilala si, ano, si Alice Go? Uh, good afternoon, Your Honor. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, good evening. Uh, good evening, Your Honor. Uh, Mag-good morning na. 30 minutes na lang. Yes, sir. Gano'n mo kakilala si, si uh, Miss Alice Go? Uh, good friend, Your Honor. How, how, how good is the friendship? Uh, we met uh, over the over time, Your Honor, uh, we met uh, sometime May 2021, and then uh, communicating. Then um, sometimes we go out for lunch or dinner, and then during that time, I saw her. Uh, when I met her, she was not a mayor yet. Uh, she was an ordinary citizen. She was a businessman, a uh, businesswoman. And then I met her again uh, personally uh, during, uh, I think it was uh, sometime September of 2022. Uh, I went to the uh, opening of Clark International Airport. Uh, all the LGUs of Pampanga and uh, um, Tarlac were there. Uh, it was the opening, it was together with all the officials, and the president was there, my commissioner was there, and that's ba the okay. time ba we... Bakit naman siya naisipan mong uh, imbitahan sa Christmas party? Well, actually, it was a, just a chance uh, uh, invitation, Your Honor. Um, because we're, since we met uh, that uh, 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 September... Uh, then we talked and then uh, we had Attorney Kapulong, uh, ano mga pinamigay ni Alice Go during the Christmas party? Eh, actually po, uh, I cannot remember your honor because I did not even uh, ask her to bring anything. Pero so, those who were there 
told us na namigay siya ng uh, ampaw. Actually, hindi po totoo yun, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, Sige. Uh, I asked them again. Uh, you are under oath, uh, Attorney yes, Capulong. Your Honor. Uh. Yes, Your Honor. Are you the uh, former Port Operator Operation Division? Ikaw na mamahala ng mga airports and seaports sa buong Pilipinas mula 2019 hanggang 2022? Uh, no, Your Honor. I was uh, appointed or designated, Your Honor, Uh, 2021 March and then until 2023 February Your Honor. So 2021 ka hanggang 2023 February na, Your Honor. Na Port Operator Division. Port Operation Division. Yes Your Honor. Ikaw ang chief. Acting chief Your Honor. Acting chief. So in other words, nakikita mo lahat ng labas ng mga manifest ng lahat ng mga buwabiyahe ng lahat ng uh, eroplano lahat ng mga ng lahat ng mga ship. Am I correct? Uh, we can check, Your Honor. We can check po. What? Na, pwede po namin i-check, Your Honor. Of course, you're the chief division na uh, operating yes, na ano. Ikaw yun. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Di ba? Yes, Kung ikaw ang pinaka-chief, alam mo nangyayari sa lahat ng airports, sa lahat ng seaports sa buong Pilipinas. Am I correct? Uh, And well, you were assigned. And you were assigned sa, sa ano, sa Region 3. Napasign ka ba doon? Uh, Area ng Bamban. Region 3. Napasahin ka, yes or no? No, Your Honor. Hindi ka napasahin? Let, let me, can I clarify, Your Hindi. Honor? Hindi, tinatanong ko, klaro. Napasahin ka ba sa Region 3? Uh, I was assigned uh, way back 20, 2010, Your Honor, sa Clark International Airport. As an alien control officer? No, Your Honor. Anong, saan ka na-assign doon? Nung na-assign po ako sa... Sa Clark Region. Clark International Airport, Your Honor. That was 2020-10. 2020-10. Yes, sir. At ano, 20, yes, Your Honor. Until 2012, Your Honor. Hanggang 2012. Anong position mo dun? Uh, acting Head Supervisor, Your Honor. Mr. Chair. You have a law firm, attorney? Wala, wala po, Your Honor. Are you related to Michelle Mabute? Uh, no, Your Honor. Isn't she your girlfriend? No, Your Honor. You have, I, a, I, uh, you have a child with her? No, Your Honor. Are you sure? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. I want to make it sure. Huh? Right now, you are suspended. Am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. Why are you suspended? Uh, it stem for a it stem for a case uh, that I uh, a visa that I prepared and reviewed two two visas, Your Honor, that I prepared and reviewed, uh, and then uh, there was a it was approved by the Board of Commissioners, and then after post audit, Your Honor, uh, it was uh, determined that there was a problem. With regard to, I'm not sure, Your Honor, with the uh, uh, non uh, non registration of the entity, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, during the time that you were uh, with uh, not yet suspended, together with Attorney Gemma de la Cruz, Attorney Siriban, and Attorney Bera, were you a part of the hearing officer who heard the 9G visa? Uh, yes, yes or no? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Okay. And uh, during the time that. Um, You have um, been a part of these uh, hearing uh, officers. Uh, have you encountered um, yung issue nung uh, 323 na uh, mga na-apprehend doon sa Bamban? No, Your Honor. No, no, no. I was the... Yes. I was the... I was in uh, the airport that time, Your Honor. And during that time, uh, you have already established your... Um, your position in that area. Am I correct? Uh, what area, Your Honor? Yung current before you were suspended. Saang position po? I was uh, at the airport, Your Honor, 2021 to 2023 February, Your Honor. Kasi alam mo, Attorney Carlos, hindi naman sa pinagbibintangan kita. Ako lang naman. Pero nag-wonder lang po ako dahil kayo po yung uh, Port Operation Division Chief. 
for uh, 2021 to 2023. And then, um, yung kaibigan mo, si Alice Go, na kasama mo sa Christmas party. And um, he wa- she was able to leave the country. Na nagulo ang buong Pilipinas, hindi malaman kung saan siya dumaan. Alam mo, gulong-gulo kami, attorney. Actually, lahat ng mga Pilipino, nagtatanong paano siya nakaalis. And your friendship with her, and you being a part of that division for so long, from 2021 to 2023, give us a cloud of doubts about what really happened. But we are not accusing you of something. No? I hope you understand the, uh, the role of this Quadcom in uh, investigating deeply on what really transpired. No? And um, accordingly, uh, Mr. Chairman, yung 323 na Chinese nationals na nahuli doon sa banban sa lugar nila Miss Alice Go. This was heard by the Bureau of Custom. Uh, Commissioner Morente, sino po ang uh, nag-hear ng kaso ng 323? Foreign nationals who were apprehended, apprehended from Banban Tarlac. Uh, I think the figure, sir, is 332. 332, yes. That was the uh, operation, joint operation with the NBI and the BI. Uh, the hearing officer for uh, charging them uh, at the legal division, I think, was... Uh, It's headed by Attorney Arvin Santos. And then the uh, Board of Special Inquiry that uh, heard the case was uh, the retired uh, Attorney Ronaldo Ledesma, Your Honor. So, uh, si Attorney Ledesma ang uh, hearing uh, officer ng... Uh, Bureau of uh, Special uh, Inquiry, Board of Inquiry. Am I correct? Siyang uh, Executive correct, Chairman yeah. of BSI and si Attorney Ruben Kasibang ang Deputy BSI. Tama? Mr. Chair, may I clarify please? Yes, please. Mr. Chair, please. Good evening. Good morning. The, the, resolu- the, re- the resolution of the case was uh, prepared by Attorney Kalingasan of the BSI. And then it was reviewed by Attorney Kasiba, and I approved the recommendation to approve. And then we submitted the approved recommendation for the approval of the Board of Commissioners. Ang tanong ko sa iyo, Attorney Ledesma, all of these 332 foreigners, do, I ha- do they have AEP, Alien Employment Permit? Mr. Chair, please, according to the Uh, records, they were charged under Section 37A7 because they were not properly documented and they did not have valid working visas and uh, permits. Yes, correct. But the case against the 249 Chinese nationals were all dismissed. In other words, hindi sila na-deport. That is correct, Mr. Chair. At nandito sila sa Pilipinas, gumagala pa rin sila. Correct? I do not know if they are still here in the yes. Philippines, Mr. Chair. Ah, sila. It's been three years. Now, ang tanong ko sa'yo, the process of getting a uh, 9G visa is to have the AEP, correct? Mr. Chair, please, the process of issuing no, no, 9G... No, 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 answer me. Ang sinasabi ko, the process of getting a 9G visa is to secure an AEP pro- coming from the Department of Labor and Employment. Yes, Mr. Chair. Correct. Yes, Tama. Mr. Chair. Okay. Ang tanong ko sa iyo, Attorney Ledesma, yung 249 na pinakawalan ninyo, meron ba silang AEP na galing sa Dole? According to the records, and according the, to the according, records according, according, according to the, report, to the Dole, did you okay. have a due diligence sa Dole about the AEP prior to your issuance of 9G visa to those 249 Chinese nationals? Do you have? We did not check the You did the not AAP, get a due Mr. diligence Chair. from Dole? Dole. Please, Dole. 
Asa ng dole? We invited dole. Can you kindly tell us kung yung sa Banban Tarlac that was apprehended by NBI and Bureau of Immigration have AEP. How many AEPs did you release for Hong Xiong? Hong Shen. Hong Shen. Uh, good evening, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'm Pago Magtoto from uh, Dole Region 3. So, uh, per our uh, alien employment permit uh, monitoring system, sir, both old and new, for uh, year 2021, we have uh, issued uh, 19 uh, AEPs or alien employment permits. And for the year 2022, your honors, Mr. Chair, we issued uh, 34. Wait. 2021, you issued how many AEPs? 19, your uh, 19. Mr. Chair. Oh, sir, no. Attorney Ledesma, they issued 19 AEPs, a requirement prior to the issue one of 9G visa. Para sa kalaman ng ating mga kababayan, this 9G visa, kapag sinecure mo, mabibigyan mo ng tatlong taon dito magtatrabaho yung mga Chinese national na yan. Kaya ayaw nila ng SWP o yung uh, tinatawag nating... Uh, Working permit. Ah, dahil yun, six months lang yun. And AEP is one of the requirement of the 9G visa para makapagtrabaho dito yung mga Chinese na yan. And, of course, dapat, kung magtatrabaho sila dito, priority natin mga Pilipino. Pero hindi pinaprioritize. Sanang galing, ator nila Desma, kung 19 lamang ang nakuwang uh, nabigay nilang AEP doon sa Hong Shen, yung nahuli doon na 300 32, pinakawalan nyo yung 249, okay? Sa ang galing ang AP nila? The charge, they were charged, Mr. Chair, with working without visas and permits. Oo nga eh, pero bakit nyo nga dinismiss eh, tapos pinakawalan nyo yung 249 eh? It's a matter of the rules of evidence, Mr. Chair, that's why they were released. <laughs> Wala na nga silang AEP. Diba? Sinasabi na ng dole, 19 lang ang, ang, ang AEP. Yung 249 na dinismiss nyo, pinakawalan nyo. Wala silang AEP. In other words, kung wala silang AEP, hindi nyo sila pwede bigyan ng 9G visa. Correct? Yes or no? We do not issue 9Gs, Mr. Chair, the, the BSI. It's the, it's so, anong in-issue nyo sa kanila? Their the 9G visas are issued by the Board of Commissioners through the legal division. Of course. Not the BSI. At dumadaan yan sa Board of Inquiries, of Special Inquiry. Don't pull me. Dumadaan sa Board of Inquiries no. yan. Dumadaan AAPs. sa inyo. Yes. Alien Employment permits, permits, Mr. Chair, during my time there at the Bureau of Immigration, we do not, uh, we do not process 9Gs. Hindi nyo pinaprocess ang 9Gs because ang nag-aabro doon, Commissioner. It's pro the 9G visa applications are processed by the legal division. Legal division, yes. and then, saan sa dadating? Dadaling siya sa, bago siya dumating sa, pa, sino pumipirma sa kanila? Mga commissioners, correct? Yes, Mr. Chair. And you are one of the commissioner? Mr. Chair? Y you were one of the commissioner during that time, correct? I was member of the, I was the executive chairman of the board, board of special inquiry. Of course, but you are also the commissioner. Tama, yes or no? Commissioner ka din eh. Assign ka lang sa Board of Inquiry eh. Tama. Ikaw ay isa sa commissioner during that time and then you were assigned as the head of executive director of the Board of Special Inquiry. Di ba? Are you a commissioner during that time? Yes or no? What time? What date, Mr. Chair? I was you know very well kung kailan ka naging commissioner. Ba't ako tatanungin mo? I, I, I was never commissioner, Mr. Chair. Ano ka dun? Officer in charge. Officer in charge? You were not a former commissioner of the BOI? Never. Ayan o? Oh. Are you Rolando de Ledesma? Never a commissioner. Mr. Chairman, I will show you. Ayan ang, mga, ang pangalan niya. Ronaldo Ledesma, officer in charge, commissioner. Hindi ka ba? I'm not. Wait. I was officer Wait. in charge, not commissioner, okay. Mr. Chair. Okay, Mr. Chairman. You are OIC. Function, yes, Mr. Yung Chair. Your function mo is still commissioner. I was OIC. But your function is still commissioner. OIC ka. In 2010. Okay. Alam mo, Attorney Ledesma, please, uh, you you were an OIC. I was an OIC, Mr. Oh, Chair. Oh, yan. 2010. OIC commissioner. 
OIC lang ko nakalagay sa akin. Hindi Tama. Ko How many uh, Chinese people have you recognized during your incumbency? Mr. Chair? I don't remember, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair? Congressman Nakop, with the indulgence of Congressman Fernandez. Uh, ano bang diferensya ng OIC at saka OIC Commissioner? Oh, Mr. Uh, Ledesma, you answer the questions yes, properly. Yes, Mr. Chair. The Commissioner... And you wait for the acknowledgement of the Chairman before you answer. I'm That's sorry, the Mr. rule. I'm sorry, Mr. Chair. Okay, proceed. The okay. Office. The office. Tanong ko. Are you asking something? No, no, no. Let him, let him reply first. Yes. Sige. What is your response? The of, the, an officer in charge has limited powers, Mr. Chair. He cannot perform acts of... The, he cannot perform acts concerning policies. He operates only on the basis of running the daily affairs of the office. But the commissioner can implement policies, serious policies and guidelines. At the OIC, Mr. Chair, he often takes directions from the uh, Secretary of Justice while the commissioner can exercise his discretion. On okay. Important matters. What are the instances when there is a need to appoint an OIC? Often when, may I answer, Mr. Chair? Yes, please. Often when there is a vacancy and the vacancy vacancy for a commissioner or a deputy commissioner is vacated. Now, if there is a vacancy and an OIC is appointed and there is a need to change a policy of the immigration, can you not? Uh, perform the duty of a regular commissioner? We have to seek the permission of the secretary, Mr. Chair. In fact, the, the orders, instructions have to be countersigned by the secretary. I agree. Because everything that uh, the commissioner, commissioners, uh, com the, how many commissioners there are in the bureau? There are. There is one commissioner. And there are two deputy commissioners. Two deputy commis commissioners. Right now, there are three deputy commissioners, Mr. Chair. So, in the event that a policy must be changed, uh, who proposes changes in the policy? Is it the DOJ, uh, the SOJ, or it should come from the commissioners or the members of uh, the commission? It can be a proposal submitted by the board. It can be a proposal submitted by the commissioner, Mr. Chair. So, in other words, pwedeng manggaling sa inyo. Pwedeng manggaling sa inyo. Sabi yes, mo, Mr. Pwede Chair. Pwede sa SOJ, pwede yes. sa inyo eh. Di ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. O, eh, ang tanong kasi sa'yo kanina ni, ano, ni Congressman Dan Fernandez, were you, ever, were you ever appointed as a commissioner? Sabi mo, no? O ay silang. Uh, ang you're, trying to, yes. you're, you're trying to give us an answer that you, that you probably feel that cannot... Uh, pinpoint to you directly being or effectively performing the function of a commissioner. Eh, yun din yun eh. Di ba? Yun din yun eh. Di ba? Practically all the, the functions of a commissioner can be done by an OIC except on matters where policy will be proposed. Correct? Yes, Mr. Oh, Chair. 99% ganun din yun. Dahil yes, pang sinagot, tinatanong ka lang niya kanina kung nag-commissioner ka eh. Eh kasi nagpapalusot lang eh, Mr. Chairman sila eh. Alam mo, ito yung bagong ano eh. Uh, alam mo, nakakalungkot yung pastillas gang na sinasabi nila. Napalta niya ng pipino gang. Ano? Pipino. Bakit? Mga peking Pilipino na pinalulusot nila. Yung mga peking AEP. Sino no, wala naman silang inisyo na AEP eh. Ang doli eh. 19 lang eh. Tapos, meron doon, may AEP, nakalusot, dinismiss nila yung kaso, pinakawalan nila 249 ng mga Chinese na ngayon kasalumuha natin yung mga foreigners na yon. As a matter of fact, Mr. Chairman, I will show you something. Dahil ito sa ginagawa nila, yung recognizing yung ating pong mga Chinese, mga national, ayan, marami silang mga taga-ombudsman, ay sa ombudsman, sa mga mga Bureau of, uh, Bureau of Immigration na mga empleyado nila na sukang-suka na sa nangyayari sa loob. Meron tinatawag silang Gucci Gang sa loob. Meron silang tinatawag na past Pastillas Gang at ang pinakamalaki ay ang Pilipino Gang. Pipino Gang. Dahil mga peking Pilipino. Pipino. Mr. Chairman, pakita niyo yung ano, yung nirecognize nilang mga 
Sa kanila nakakita, Mr. Chairman, 60 years old. 60 years old. Ha? Ire-recognize mo. Late registration, 60 years old. 50 years old. 49 years old. Recognize. At ang sinasabi, Chinese father or mother pa, or ang mother ay Chinese, tapos Pilipina ang ano, ang mother o kaya father. And then, kukuha ng birth certificate na late registration, makikita nyo yan. Yung mga nandyan, 60, 50, 49. Yung mga Chinese na yan, Mr. Chairman, 18 years old pa lamang, pwede na lang piliin kung ano sila, Pilipino o Chinese. During that time of being an 18-year-old, doon ka mamili kung sino ka, kung Pilipino ka o Chinese. Pero 60 years old, 49, ganito ka kapal ang inaprubahan nyo. Isa pa lamang ang nakukuha ko. Saying that all these Chinese ha, became Pilipino. Kaya dumadami ang mga Chinese sa atin because of you. Mr. Chair, gusto ko lang pong tanungin si Atone Ledesma. Bakit naging OIC ka dahil walang commissioner? Yes, Mr. Chair. O ibig sabihin, ikaw ang commissioner. Walang commissioner, okay, ikaw ang OIC. Ibig sabihin, ikaw ang commissioner. Mr. Chair, I would like to declare that I'm going to file a resolution investigating the Bureau of Customs. The Bureau of Immigration. <laughs> And Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I'll be allotting, ako ito, Mr. Chairman, I'll be allotting my two-month salary here in Congress sa mga matitino nating mga kababayan na nandiyan sa Bureau of Immigration na makakapagturo kung paano nakataka si Alice Go using our airports or seaports, yung dalawang buwang sweldo ko ibibigay ko sa inyo. Help us! Help us! This Quadcom is serious in cleaning our government. Join us! Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair, kayo nung mabibigay? Hindi, sa makakapagturo kung paano nakataas. I'm pretty sure, Mr. Chairman, because ah. I have checked the CAAP. Ang CAAP, meron silang mga biyahe papunta ng Kota Kinabulu, papunta ng Singapore, na galing sa Clark, galing sa Subic, galing sa Palawan, walang passenger. And they know the ports. They know the seaports. They handle the division of checking Those flights going out and going in. Maluluwag ang mga seaports natin. Maluluwag ang mga airports natin. And our people, hindi lahat sa immigration. Thank you to all those immig immigration officers and employees who are faithful to their duty. But, but, to those who are bad ex, sorry, pero magkalaban tayo. Linisin natin ang gobyerno, tulungan ninyo ako, Dalawang buwan na sweldo ko, ibibigay ko sa makakapagturo kung paano nakataka si Alice Go with the help of our immigration officers. Mr. Chairman, maraming salamat po.